Okay, coach. So the the both teams are decided. Okay, you oversee. Will you go on both tours? No, I'll go on the cadet tour. I'll go on the junior team, and I'll go on the seniors as well. Not the U23. You're not gonna go U23s. No, but you have input. I do. They'll be in camp, and I know all those guys well. They've actually come through the system, and so um, so actually we'll have an influence on those guys as well. So you're doing that. Uh Overseas and back, and then home for about 72 yeah, hours. You, know, and you then... know the routine. You know the routine. We'll uh, we'll hit the cadets, we'll hit the juniors, and then we'll hit the seniors, which comes with that 14-day acclimation camp. So, you know, my wife's not too happy about it, but we'll uh, we'll get it in and we'll, we'll try to come some goals. So half the lineup can be wrestled off with a guy that's sitting up and final. Okay. You're talking to one U23, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty crazy, and that doesn't usually happen. Well, you know. I, I look at the U23 team as, you know, it just continues to get better. We continue to add depth. We can continue to add uh, stronger competitors. And, and with them having an opportunity to even wrestle off with a guy sitting in Final X right now, it's, um, it's exciting for Joe. It's exciting for Team USA that we're going to get the very best, best guys possible. So um, it's, it's hard because the team isn't decided yet. You want the team to be decided, but at the same time, you want to have the best team. Kevin, that's got to be encouraging for the system as a whole that two guys that won Cadet World Medals last year got pushed to a third match. It, it really was. And for me, you know, I, I really, I'm really, i really excited about this team. I'm really happy um, to see this team come together. And uh, and I think if they would have gotten beaten, the guy that would have beaten them would have, would have put themselves in a chance to, to win a medal. Um, but I, I like the youth. I like the experience. I like the guys that are coming back that have that experience to share with to share with their teammates. And, and I think uh, we have a really strong team. I think the cadets are uh, a really good team. we got to go over there um, with the right, right mindset and um, score points. and. And, and, and go to war over there. So I, I'm, I'm really excited about what the team is capable of. Anybody that jumped out at you that maybe a guy you didn't expect or someone who came out of left field that, you know, you're like, wow, well, I got this guy. I thought maybe I was going to have that guy. Was there any of that for you? Were there any surprises? Anything you, you know, it, it, it's it, the change. The change could happen at any weight class, really. I mean, even some of the world team members that, that had medals, I mean, they had to fight for their spot. And so um, so there really wasn't any surprise. Even if, they, even if one of the guy like Facundo loses that last match, you know, that, that would have supro surprised me a little bit. But he's kind of, you know, he's moved down to a weight class that, um, he moved to the same weight class that's it's tough for him to make right now. He's kind of caught in between weight class. So I think if we nutrition a little bit better, I think he'll be a little bit, he'll be a little bit better. But at the same time, the kid he wrestled is really, really good. If he would have made the team, I think he would have went over and got a medal as well. So um, surprises at this level, at this age, you're, you're, you're going to get those throughout the tournament. And I've seen them throughout the tournament. There were some upsets that, uh, that I didn't expect. But at the end of the day, um, I think the right guys made the team. Being back in Colorado. Uh, you know, I haven't talked to you since you were the coach at Iowa State. How much different is it being back freestyle, just focusing on freestyle? Well, it's a lot less stress. It's a lot less stress. So much stress no. in the college it's, season. It's, it, it's fun. I mean, it's fun being back in Colorado Springs. My family loves being in the Springs. And, um, you know, we love the opportunity to work with the very best athletes in the world. Best athletes in our country, best athletes in the world. I have an opportunity to work with the guys at every single age level, whether it's cadets, juniors, seniors, U23s. I'm just having an opportunity to, to share um, some knowledge and some, some skills with those guys so they can go ahead and try to accomplish their goals is, is, is rewarding to me. So it's been a, it's been a great move and, um, um, and it's exciting. All right, Coach, thanks for the time. Okay, Good luck, Room Appreciate it.